In 2015, neuroscientist Srikanth Chalasani and his team at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies introduced to the world sonogenics, a groundbreaking technique that uses ultrasound to control cellular activity. Seeking an alternative to optogenics, which relies on light but struggles to penetrate deep tissues, Chalasani envisioned using sound waves as a non-invasive solution to precisely manipulate cells in living organisms. The breakthrough came through experiments with a small nematode worm widely used in biological research due to its simple nervous system. The team genetically modified the worms to express TRP4, a mechanosensitive ion channel that responds to mechanical stimuli like sound waves. Using ultrasound waves at around 40 MHz, they successfully activated specific neurons triggering controlled behavioral responses such as directional movement. Sonogenics works by introducing genes that encode ultrasound-sensitive proteins into target cells. When exposed to ultrasound, these proteins, usually ion channels, alter their structure. And this allows ions like calcium or sodium to flow in or out of a cell. This change can activate or suppress cellular functions. Unlike light, Ultrasound waves can penetrate into deep tissues, reaching organs and cells that optogenetics cannot. Proteins like TRP4, they act like gatekeepers, responding to ultrasound-induced mechanical stress on the cell membrane, and only the genetically modified cells respond, leaving surrounding tissues unaffected. The research was published in Nature Communications, and it demonstrated the power of sonogenics as a tool for modulating neuronal activity in non-invasive, highly specific manners. And this discovery opened doors to a new realm of biomedical applications. And sonogenics has now shown great promise in several fields like neuroscience. By targeting specific neurons, it offers potential treatments for neurological disorders like epilepsy or Parkinson's disease. In gene therapy, when coupled with techniques like CRISPR, Sonogenetics can enable precise gene editing. Then think about drug delivery. Ultrasound can guide drug-filled nanoparticles to very specific tissues, minimizing side effects. And in cardiology and oncology, it holds potential for regenerating heart tissue and targeting tumors with precision. The development of sonogenics raises important questions. Ultrasound intensity must be calibrated to avoid damaging tissues, so safety is key. And when we think about genetic engineering, modifying human cells for therapeutic purposes involves complex ethical considerations. And as with any powerful tool, there's potential for non-therapeutic misuse, such as unauthorized neural control. Chalasani's work has not only advanced science, but also reshaped how we think about controlling cellular behavior. By harnessing the penetrating power of sound waves, sonogenetics provides a versatile and less invasive alternative to existing techniques, blending biology, physics, and engineering into a single yet elegant solution. In just a few years, sonogenetics has grown from a pioneering concept to a cornerstone of modern biomedical research. It exemplifies how nature's simplicity, in this case sound waves, can be transformed into a sophisticated tool for solving some of humanity's most complex challenges. These are Interesting Things with JC.